so if you are like me and you probably hate creating logos from the scratch then this video is for you i'm going to show you how to create a logo with ai and how you can edit it with adobe illustrator without further ado let's get to the video all right so the first thing i needed to do was to bring the client brief into ChatGPT. so this is the client brief so here's the name of the football club and the football academy and as you can see it's an academy surely for defenders it's solely based on optimism that is what optimism means so so this is it so when i brought it in charge bt i said copy the text and use the concept here to give me a football logo badge so he said here is the extracted logo and gave me the name the slogan and everything i needed to know so then the animal also so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the name of the logo up to this point then i'm going to hit ctrl c then i'm going to go over to my ai tool i'm using image effects by google and i've done a video on this before so i'm going to paste this now i want to remove this animal lion because I want um, the design to have an ego. So, so for a football academy that focuses on on this, okay, I'm going to remove this chat. GPT also said and everything. So, I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to remove this. Okay, so, so this is it, and I'm going to tap on. I'm going to add more um, details. Make the logo to have the shape of a shield. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And what I'm going to do now is to wait for the results. While I'm waiting for the results, you are going to see how the AI is going to separate the information and pick out the most important ones for me. So that's what's happening now. So you can see that the AI has picked out the most important one and optimismo football academy defenders it's an academy for defenders optimism defenders optimism football academy defenders shield shield rising sun upward arrows optimism football net now you can see how it has created the logo from scratch now it has given us four variations here so i'm going to go over to here and i'm going to tap on my library because I like these logos that it has created for me. So when I come to my library, I'm going to see the previous logos that it has generated. Also, these are the ones I generated before. So here I I I told it the same logo, but I told it to create a gladiator, to use a gladiator because that was actually what the client wanted, not an ego, because it depicted um, defense and everything. So this is the logo which is on the thumbnail okay so we're not going to focus on that so this is okay this is okay these ones are okay but i think i like this one so you just tap here and you tap on download and then the same thing download all right so i'm done with the ai so i'm going to go over to my um um folder where it is saved so these are the two logos so what i want to do now is i want to upscale the image so i use them power toys to do this so i just um change the size because i noticed that i couldn't um import those um generated images from the ai directly into um illustrator so what i want to do now is i want to bring this guy into adobe illustrator so i'm going to just paste it here and it's going to write copy so what's happening is, is the is going to copy the image all right so this is so this is the image all right so the first thing i want to do now is to go over to window and i'm going to go down a bit until i see image trace so coming to image trace i want to turn on my preview that's going to show me a preview of what is already happening look at the logo in black and white this is already okay to some extent 
but I want it to be in color so I'm going to change this to color as you can see here so I'm going to tap color and it's going to generate so you are just going to wait for it to generate exactly so this is what we have so this is what we have okay so you have 30 colors 596 parts 5540 anchor points which is actually a whole lot so you are going to go to objects next you are going to go to expand and you tap on ok so it has expanded this so i want to the next thing you want to do is to hold on ctrl shift g to ungroup or you right click and you tap on ungroup here all right so now you can delete i just deleted the background now if you took notes so you can see how many parts it's here i like to create a copy of this to put here all right so you can see that now you can edit individual parts just like this yeah you can edit individual parts so i i want to do something like um i want to simplify i want to simplify most of the selections that are going on now because the selections the the points like we saw the anchor points are too much but one thing about this is that if you do it too much you are going to lose a lot of detail so just don't do it too much don't do it too much so i'm just going to keep it a bit simple here i think this should be okay it may not have a lot of much effect like that but yeah that is it okay so i'm going to go to my direct selection too and then i want to start deleting the text because as you can see the text is not is not nice at all so i want to delete the text and everything that is here okay so i want to delete the text and everything that is here so, so this is usually the hard part because we want to put in the text that we want or that the client wants so the other ones that were generated we are going to delete them because obviously they are not perfect so you want a text that is actually perfect so you can see how we're editing it now we're editing um or we're modifying the logo we're deleting the parts that we don't want so you can do it for that part also that you don't want but for the sake of this video i'm just going to do it just for the text I'm just doing it for the text so make sure that you're on the parts you're on the parts and not on the entire vector if not you're going to delete things that you don't want to so just make sure that you are deleting the path just like this so make sure you're on the path and not the main okay so we've deleted that i also want to get rid of this guy here so tap it again and delete okay all right so we're making progress so this this logo is okay for me actually if not i'd have edited most of the colors here but it's okay i feel there's nothing i want to change right now maybe later on in photoshop i can edit the colors but we'll get to that so i want to get up my text tool and then i want to write the football academy again so i'm going to select all um and i'll go over to my color here and i'll change the color then i'm going to increase the font holding shift and then okay i'm going to centralize the text and i'm going to change the text also to this guy so coming over to character i'm going to reduce the kerning just like that and then the leading like this okay so this should be okay so then i'm going to reduce the text size like this 
so you have optimismo football academy you can see the front here is not nice at all but this one is a bit okay so this is how we are going to stop in this video so i'm going to control g and i'm going to delete this one so control g you can do anything you want to do with it by holding just hold shift so, so i'm going to centralize the logo and then i'm going to head over to file and export export as and i'm going to keep it here let me choose another file another file name for it so logo png so um it's going to export or it has exported already so uh, next thing i want to do is to go back to photoshop so this is what i use for this um, brand so i'm going to tap on new file and this is where i do most of my um edit to the logo if i want to adjust the colors or anything not that i cannot do it with illustrator but um i'm better off with photoshop than illustrator so when i export my when i um, do my vectors i export them to photoshop and then finish what i want to do on photoshop so once the logo is open now mind you you can do this with any form of logo i'm just using what the clients give so you can see how the quality is still very sharp so if i go over to background i can now choose a solid color maybe from here or from here or from here i think i'll go with this one tap on ok so for the logo layer i can go over to selective color and then i can start um, changing things that i want to change in the logo so i want to make it more much more vibrant so i'm going to go back to the blues here increase the magenta of the blues and just make the overall color um, better let me go back to cyan and do the same thing So you can see how the logo is um, this is before and this is after so i can duplicate this guy ctrl g and then i want to scale this one up a bit yes like this <coughs> so as it's scaled up what i want to do is to go back to our layer mask and with our gradient i'm going to slide up like this then i'm going to reduce the overall opacity or feel of the logo yeah so i'm going to take this up let me blend it more yeah so now you can add any layers that you want to add to this logo whether inner glow outer glow um anything that you want to add to the logo you can go ahead these ones don't work actually for it they are not made for it but um so i'm just going to result results or reset to default so you can add them um, a drop shadow to to this i think i added an inner glue before but just make sure that the effects are subtle and not too much make sure that the effects are not too much on the logo if if it's not necessary it's it's better you don't put it than you put it and it destroys the whole logo so for this one i'm not going to put it um, when i did the thumbnail design i used them um, layer styles for it i used layer styles um, let me show you so so this is the logo and you can see the layer styles there. so when i put it off you can see the difference yes all right so that is it for this video um 
the first thing I did was to generate my image or my logo with um, with AI, bring it to um, Illustrator and edit it and bring it to Photoshop so that I can present it. If you have any questions, do well to ask me in the comment section below and um, also do well to subscribe and to like this video and to share it to other people that will want to watch videos like this. And till then, I'm going to see you in the next video.